Hello. Good afternoon. And we are a little crooked. <laughs> Let me check out just a tad bit. That's a bit better. Why are we not focused? There we go. Let me go see what's going on over here in the chat. Let's see who's here. Hi, Paula. Good morning, love. Bright and early with me this morning. Hello, hello. I see some faces up in the clouds there. Good morning. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome in. Happy Saturday or Sunday. But then I think it was, yeah, it's already Sunday in Australia. So to my Aussie friends, happy Sunday. <laughs> How are you, Miss Paula? How goes the house? Uh, yeah, uh, you know, unpacking and organizing and well, hello, Kim. How are you? Nice to see you. Cheers, everyone. Morning coffee. My voice is a little scratchy today. I've been the weather is crazy and you know. Sophia girl. Good morning, dear. There's our one of our UK friends. Mama Vaughn. Hi, Mama. Oh, well, be the cause is going to paint something. Yay, smooches. Mwah. <laughs> and, uh, for those of you that don't know, Vaughn is my mom. <laughs> Still in talking. Oh, sure. I'm, I'm sure. I hate moving. I like traveling. I hate moving. You know. But I like organizing. See, I like the unpacking part. I don't like the packing and the moving part. <laughs> uh, how is everyone this morning? How are we doing? Anything, anybody got any exciting news? I do not have any exciting news. Uh, well, I have a little bit of the news in that. <laughs> well, I'll just kind of show you guys. Uh, hold on. Okay, so I'm going to show you um, what my <laughs> studio <laughs> looks like right now. Um, because, you know, I'm getting ready for a sale in May and I need more to do, right? Wait, what? I always thought that was just joking. It is a joke. How have I known you just like? She's my mom by osmosis, Safia. She adopted me. Hi, Tay. Welcome in. Um, we connected later in life as part of God's plan, and um, we just connected uh, like mother and daughter, and uh, she kind of adopted me and has been been my rock my rock for for a few years now how long has it been mama let's see so 2018 so five years but yeah she's when i talk about my mom this and my mom that and i can't wait to show you my mom <laughs> bought me the new Timmy trimmer. I'm so excited. <laughs> Thank you, mama. Oh. Anyway, I'm going to show you what this crazy studio looks like right now. I got stuff on the table. It's kind of spread out with a sheet over it because that's some of the sales stuff. But this is this is kind of what happens when uh, I, well, that's my rack, you know, but look, look. Okay, so this is what we're playing with today. But then look at all that. There was a printer there. There was a shelf there. <laughs> um, and then let me turn you guys this way. Okay. So I got, finally got that wall the way I want it. Oh, there's a kitty cat. Uh, but I've got literally stuff everywhere. There's stuff on the table covered with, I mean, it's a, it's a hot mess <laughs> right now. I'm like, you know, I'm trying to get ready for a sale. And what do I do? I cause myself, uh, create more fun for myself. Not really. But, oh gosh. 
Oh God. Seven days. Well, seven days from the, let me go in. Let me see what my order update says. With it says within it has said within seven days, but let me see if they confirm. Okay. Oh, order summary. Oh, order date. They don't give an ETA on the actual receipt. But usually Simon says stamp is uh, Simon says stamps is within seven days, usually. Um, and I usually get it quicker than that, but we'll see. Because when I um yeah. I'm such brain frog and tiredness right now. I'm struggling with your brain at the best. <laughs> Sophia, that is life. Hey, get down from that. No, you can't be a mama stuff right now. I've got no organization going on over there. Here, come over here and sit down. Sit down, lay down. Here. No, you want out now? Okay, goodbye. No? What's, what's, what? you want to say hi to the girls? Audience. 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 Say hi. Yeah, you can say hi. Yeah. <laughs> you want pets? You want the pets? Ooh. Anyway, okay, so that's my crazy that I got going on. Uh, but yeah, I can't wait to get that new rotary trimmer, especially with my arthritis. The, the rotary part just really makes me happy. Um, and it's a fabulous cutter from all the demos he showed. Yeah, I think a lot of us are, Paula. <laughs> he is he is such a cat. Oh, I gotta send you some pictures, some more updated pictures, Mama. Hi, Jan. Thank you. Cat Cam. Yep. <laughs> He'll come, probably come back up over here in a minute um, and get try to get up all in it. But we're doing jelly plating because I got a, a, a whiff of in, a whiff, a whiff of inspiration. And we're gonna do it. It, it does suck at the best of times. <laughs> so imagine how we feel when it's when we're not at our best, when we're <laughs> at our worst. <laughs> oh, Paula, <laughs> you've cracked me up. I love you. <laughs> oh, I hope everyone is doing well. Um, that video on the tin paper cutter. Yeah, isn't it nice? Yeah, my, I had watched it uh, live, and then next day, Mama texts me. And she's like, "You need that new Timmy cutter, don't you?" <laughs> I'm like, "Or no?" She said, "You need that." Or did you see the new Timmy cutter? You need that. I'm like, "Yes, I do. It's on my list." And she's like, "Okay, we're gonna order it." <laughs> I'm like, "Yay! My Mama loves me." <laughs> Why is it you and I get the urge to work on? stuff at the same time i don't know tay stop following and copying me <laughs> no i'm kidding i love it i love it don't go nowhere shy okay oh that's awesome oh you have to show share pictures shy oh three puppies all doing good all of them doing good so far okay so what we're gonna do jelly printing but with a twist guys okay and um we're gonna try it on a couple different papers and see but anyway the, the process i've done before but i'm gonna put a couple bits of collage on some different papers first and foremost um the brush for the glue Dawn, the Crafty Visage, welcome in from Maine. How is your weather there today? Exactly. GMTA, Tay. GMTA. Okay, so first, this is that uh, book I got from um, Louise up in Canada. It's from 1943 to 1949. So I can't use the, the, the for, for anything other but collage. But look at all this beautiful writing that, that's in this book. This was one of my Patty, my, my Patty um, Hall pieces. And it, because um, I ordered from Louise and um, through one of uh, Patty's markets. She has flea markets every now and then. Anyway, so. And Louise uh, uh, works through Patty. 
if you're not accustomed. But look at all the different handwriting and it's just yummy, right? So I'm going to use some of that and I'm not going to care. I'm just going to tear the scarlet meeting. Oh, let's use that one. The scarlet meeting. It's actually very nice. Wow. Oh, it's just, I hate this weather and I hate it's cold. It's 19 degrees where I'm at. <laughs> no bueno. <laughs> um, okay, so and I, I don't want I don't want necessarily straight edges, but I don't want, you know, like this is a nice deckled uneven edge that's not no so we're gonna do that and then this is some pages from that 1700s uh uh cotton rag paper book that has all that yummy uh boxing on it look at all those spots you just can't recreate that people no matter how you can get close but no matter how you try you can't quite get there <laughs> But it's almost sunny. <laughs> yeah, it's almost sunny. Right, Mama? It's almost sunny. <laughs> uh, orthography is what this page is about. But not to care. I'm not going to care. That doesn't, this is a 12 by 12 size, by the way. Piece of, uh, this is uh, deli paper. It's my favorite deli paper. And then this is bits and pieces from a very old, uh, early 19 uh, something or another. Um, I can't remember, but it's, uh, you know, it's, it's ledger, it's, you know, and I'm going to pull some of the numbers out. How about we do that? And let's do it just like that. I'm not going to fuss much. Oh, I do need my mat, though. Come back here. I'm gonna do this and this. Let me look at chat. At the treasures of those young men. Oh, the, no, the, this is, oh, the, this is, well, mama, some of this is not with a date that I can utilize for digitals. Uh, some of it's, I buy it just for the paper or I buy it for the contents and, and, you know, it's okay, mama. We do, we do save many books and we do, uh, say as we, as journal makers, we do, those of us that do in the vintage really do save bits and pieces of our history and that's around the world history um let's um i'm just trying to see if i want it a different way i still think i like it this way But I think I'm going to put this one under there. Okay. I don't want this one under there. Oh, I wasn't going to fuss, but then I lie and I'm fussing. I know. I know. I know. I know. Me too, Mama. I have an affection for books. Trust me. But you know the books that we we do this to and salvage for the most for the most part uh, for for most of the people that I run with anyway, um, you know we 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 do it at in respect of those and then we do, we do try to pick books that you know anyway not to get on the soapbox <laughs> and I can't argue with my mom y'all okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't do it. Just can't do it. Okay, I'm gonna leave that right there for a second. <laughs> well, I didn't really want all that, but that's okay. That is okay. That a book, a 
library or a prison. No, such a auto destroy can save and give you a new life. Exactly, Tay. Exactly. You know, we're preserving bits of history. And I hope those people that buy our journals, you know, those of us that do vintage um, and those of us, those of you ladies that buy them. I know a lot of people collect journals and don't even use them, but I hope the ones that do uh, buy them and use them fully res respect, you know, all that vintage data that they're given to hold on to. And I'm sure most people do, if not all. Just putting, I'm not getting this super wet because we're going to dry it. Well, I'm going to make a couple more while this one is drying. So I didn't put that underneath, but I, that's okay. We'll put it over here. I think I moved it down anyway. So we're going to do a little bit of fun, a fun, a fun, a little fun bit of jelly printing, hopefully. Uh, it's a process I've done before. Uh, it's been a while. Nice thing about jelly paper is you, it's, just as thin as napkins, but you get a little bit more um, versatility with it because it's got a little bit more uh, structure to it. Deli paper and uh, tissue paper is relatively the same, but I think tissue paper uh, is more uh, delicate. Okay, so I'm going to, I need to get forward. forward. Okay, put this over there for a second while we work on the next one. Oh, and for the first three I want to do on different papers. Um, let me go scroll back and chat and see what y'all are talking about. Oh, I do need a plastic. For, hold on. I can't do anything right now until I get a, 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 something for my brush so it doesn't get hard and messy. Um, Dawn says, I treasure books too. I have many. I consider myself saving them by gutting them and turning them into. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Mama's conceding. She's agreeing. Paula's agreeing. Hi, girls. Hi, babe. <laughs> no, thanks. Uh, I trust your. Uh, since you're talking to me, you haven't fully ghosted out yet, huh? I had to close my eyes the first time I got it a book, even though, yeah. Yeah, Don, yeah. Okay, so now this is, um, this works. This is another thin paper. You know, when you go to the doctor's office and they make you get up on those crappy, uncomfortable, cold tables, this is the paper <laughs> that, we put our butts on. So I got a fresh roll um, from my connection up there in Washington from one of my girls, uh, one of my mods. And uh, her doctor is super awesome. He gives her stuff all the time. <laughs> or, well, she asks for stuff and gets it anyway. Um, so this is Matt Medical Tissue Paper. And um, it, it does have a matte and a glossy side. And I'm going to collage on this side. Um, soon, soon what? I, yeah, I, I wasn't feeling good, babe, you know. Sorry, I come over. Anyway, um, I do need to cut this down though, because it's a little, little, little unwieldy. So, everybody just loves the sound of ripping tissue paper. I'm sorry if it's like a chalkboard for you. So 
but I like the sound of birthday paper. <laughs> Sorry about it. Hello, hello. I see some more faces up in the clouds there. Do I have, do I have any mods here yet today? Or did I forget? Oh, boy, I have no mods here. Okay, hopefully we'll get no, no stalkers and pornography. I don't got time to monitor. Y'all y'all need to behave yourselves. Okay, so I'm gonna use the same three papers because um, I want to show the difference. I wanna, I wanna see the difference, but I'm not gonna do necessarily the collage the same way. Um, let's see, where would I wanna put? I don't wanna cover up all that. On this side, okay. So this is going to go here. This can go. Let's just. I don't need that anyway. And um, one of my mods. The, see, most of my mods, they're West Coast girls. And so they're sleeping. <laughs> well, no, it's nine o'clock now. They should be. They should be kind of sorta up. Um, so I want to try put avoid putting extra glue. Let me just scoop this over. Extra glue on the paper. Where that's where I didn't do good the last time. Is I didn't. These old papers, they the reason why I'm I'm being a little bit more liberal with the glue is these old papers suck up the glue uh, like nobody's business because there's this one is is definitely because it's uh, cotton rag paper, um, but a lot of these older papers they're so thirsty, especially this um, this paper, yeah. So I got to make sure that, okay, push down real good. I don't mind that there's a little bit of glue around the paper, but I don't want it real far. I'm trying to be, trying to be, stay kind of in my zone with it. And this old um, composition notebook paper is just yummy. It's also thirsty, but it's very yummy. Okay, that's one. Turn it over. Make sure there's no bubbles. Another reason why I like collaging on deli or, 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 or paper or tissue paper is I can make sure that I have good adhesion. Ooh, I ripped it. It's okay. It's the back. It doesn't matter. It'll dry. It'll be fine. All right. Now, oh my God. This one over here, that little corner, a little, little bit there. There we go. Where did I put my, oh, uh, there, okay, so that, we did my favorite jelly paper, we did the matte medical tissue paper, um, now what, what is it? oh, I want to try this jelly paper, this is something that most people can get a hold of, um, it may not be this brand, but this style, and I know each one of this, I, I like to get the ones that have uh, at least one matte side. Um, so I guess I'll do 
that really quick. Let me see if you got any questions. No. Y'all are so quiet. Y'all y'all not awake yet is what it is, right? Am I a little too awake, too awake for you guys? Am I too awake for y'all? I'm not really awake all that much either, but, and I couldn't, I couldn't sleep anymore. I've been feeling like crap, total crap the last couple days, like total utter crap. Been sick. Yeah. Okay. So let's do this is smaller. So I'm going to make these pieces a bit smaller. See, and this is just an old, uh, and a lot of the books, that, oh, look at this one. A lot of the books that we'll, we'll take apart are these ones that are like English and grammar, not necessarily um, other books that really you, 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 you don't want to take apart. So I love that. Let's put some of that on here. This one I'll put on top like that. And ledger. Let's see. Oh, let's do some of that. Yeah. Yes. You know what? Let's spread it out a little bit. Sissy Poo. Good morning on the West Coast. <laughs> Happy Saturday. Come on, give me the glue, man. I wonder if I should just, I don't know. This paper is so thirsty right here. I mean, literally, it's drinking it up, so trying so bad. It's not fragile paper because this is this is uh, cotton rag paper, so this this will stand the test of time because it's got made with cotton fibers. Um, if you're not familiar, so I'm not worried about this paper. Some of the edges may be brittle, but that paper you can paint on this paper, you can draw on this paper, you can all kinds of things with this paper. I want to separate it. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Which side do I want? Okay. Oh, wait. Did, we, did I have it like, oh, I had it like this, right? No, I didn't. I had it like this. It's going down like that. <laughs> oh. Where can you find other paper? Check Amazon. You know, and, and I say I, I I say that because it's like a general product, but you could get it from also, uh, you know, maybe your grocery store that has like a baking aisle. Um, you know, any store that has a baking aisle probably will have some fashion or form, but definitely Amazon will have definitely more options for you. Um, yeah. Okay. All right. Let's do these three. I'm gonna dry them up. Oh, it's going to be so fun if this works out. Now, where's my? It should work out. Long as I, I don't know. We'll see. It could all go wrong. It could really all go wrong. Y'all know this, right? Okay, let me get, um, where's my, oh, I didn't grab the white one. Hold the phone. This mat. 
you know, all that's going to come off with some uh, Murphy's oil soap, but it's just, it's just it's mad. It's got holes in it now. I need to get a new mat. Yeah, I, I wish I, one, I didn't, I can't believe I cut into my other mat too. All in good time. It's still working. I'm going to use it until it falls apart. It just needs to be cleaned. So anyway, let's dry our friends here. First of all, we got to dry them now. I'm all dried up. Get my little crumbly bits off of here. Don't want, actually, don't, that would be, you know what? I should have saved the, I just thought of that. I should have saved the smutch, no, the schmutz, uh, from taking apart those books and used them on the jelly plate. We may have to make some crumbles today. Let's see how well we can, oh, I might, oh, we can sandwich it in layers. Oh, we're going to have to try that today. I mean, I do it with, with gold leaf. And, or, and, and, and colored leaves, so why not, right? Here's, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that the quick wrap? Which one is that one? Or is that the, the red one I just showed? There is so many, yeah. It does, you know, find, you, but, and I will tell you, you know, you might have to buy a couple different ones to see which ones you like. Um, I can tell you my favorite. This is like the best deli paper in the world. The Dixie all-purpose food wrap. And I got that on Amazon. I don't know if you still can, but see how translucent it is compared to, you can already see my hand like through that, right? My fingers there. You can't get as much of a de definition on other papers. It's got that cloudy white already, right? And then I can take this and I can make this completely invisible if I wanted. Anyway, let's dry. Um, so this this paper, and it's very matte. It has no glossiness uh, to it. It's very, it's and it's and it's great to jelly plate with because it, it's it's jelly paper. It's got a little bit of strength, so it's got. It's got a mat, mostly matte side, and then even this is the side that's this side that's kind of got like a. It doesn't have anything on it, but it's just a little more slicker. I don't know if it's like it's more like waxed or something, but even that it feels matte. So even on the quote unquote shiny side, it's matte. I just I, this is my favorite, and I've been using it for you. I've had this one box a thousand, uh, eight years. <laughs> Chris, hi, honey. Good morning, girls. My Westy Coast girls are waking up and coming in. All right, dry. Shauna, dry. Now we dry. And then let me bring you guys up just a tad more so you can see more of what's going to be going on. Hey, you hurry back now. Friend Debbie and I got to meet in person. Um, of course, I've met my mom. And let's see, there's a couple other people I've met in real life. I talked to several of, of my friends uh, on on actual phone calls <laughs> and 
and voice chats and video chats. And fun to be connected. Oh, boo. But you only have a couple more years. I can't wait for you to retire. I know that it's going to be a happy day. <laughs> be like i'm out of here you snap nose heathens <laughs> i know that's bad <laughs> oh you only have, wait can we to, to, to retirement that's right we are in 23. wait i thought it was next year Yeah, mama. Oh, ten weeks to this. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that, but 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 it's next year you to re, you retire, right? And how's Bob doing? Her husband um, is a, is in a band. You still doing that, Debbie? Oh, that sucks. But hopefully it's just a couple more years then. He's great. Good. Give him a hug for me. Tell him I said hi. Okay. I know he's good. I don't have to go into my other ones. I, I'm still working on trying to use these up. Um, but I'm not finding one kind of color. I'm, oh. Oh, no, that's my one yellow. That's right. Oh, the cold amber. Yeah, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Okay, never mind. I have. Come on now. Be dry. You want to make sure this is, this is fully dry, uh, unless you want it to peel up while you're jelly plating. <laughs> no, just subbing. Trying to get truck paid off first. Oh yeah, that's most definitely uh, a necessity for sure. You don't want that when you have to, after you retire. You don't want to have to have a car payment. YouTube said email. My channel, do you mind if I see no videos? <gasps> really? Oh, well, I, I, that, I mean, that kind of makes sense, but I, I've never heard of that. I mean, wow. Well, but you can be you can uh, monetize back once you get going again. I'm sure that, that I mean, I'm sure they allow you to get back up into that status. I don't know. I've never ran. A, I've never been in that situation with them. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Look at how translucent. Oh. Already. Now imagine I'm gonna we're gonna do a few things today. I'm gonna teach you guys a few tricks today. Debbie already knows, and Mama Bond probably already knows. Yes, watch time too low. Yeah, okay. All right. So yeah, we just need to get you back into the summer time, making some videos. Get some, get some streaming back doing on the weekends or something. We got to get you back on there because that'll be important for your retirement. <laughs> okay, I think these they're, they're pretty much mostly dry. A little bit more than this one.
<laughs> yep. New trick. And I love how some of the glue, because this is now, this is, oh, it's 80 year old paper, the, the composition notebook. Look how, how it, how the ink on the lines faded. And then like on this side, it just has like, you know, it's really just, I just love, I just love that. Okay. So these are our papers for now. Oh, this one, oh. If it's cool to the touch, it means it's still wet. That's a good idea. I mean, you'll, you'll regain YouTube over time. So, but yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, I'm not waiting no more. Okay, so those are our papers. Eight by ten gel plate, only because I don't have the bigger one. Bigger one that would even be better for you. This is my. I have a. I have a clean side although it doesn't look clean but everything you're seeing is on the other side which is my dirty side which is where i want to be okay because we'll get some of those 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 crusty bits off of there but we're not really doing crusty bits today but we might we might see some in what we do bring it down a little bit more so. and my camera is crooked but let me get this situated okay Okay. So, first thing about stencils. I don't know which ones I want to just settle with with this one. I'm going to use some Punchinella. That flower thing in the jigger there. And, nope. Where's my favorite? Ha. Come back here. Oh my goodness. Oh, I like this one too. So another one of my favorites. Okay, so let's put this over here for now. And I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna, okay. And so I want to, first of all, I'm going to kind of see where I'm going. So I'm going to get a, like a little piece of that off. Um, all right, Mama. Love you. Talk to you later. Um, yeah, I just need to test this. See which one. Or have a test swatch. Of, um, And you'll see why I'm doing this in a minute. But I, if you don't, I would get out any <clears throat> sepia, um, your, your warm, uh, uh, like this one is gold amber. This one is yellow oxide. This one is red oxide. And this one is warm umber. Um, I wish I had a room. Uh, I might mix in a little more to get what I want. But anyway, I just want to see these as they are. Um, I mean, I know what the colors are, but I just want to. That's, a nice, that's, that's my favorite yellow from this set. So bright. But it's still my favorite yellow. Okay. 
And now I'm going to take a little bit of that because I do want to see it with a little bit of a little tiny bit of orange in it. Just, I just kind of want to see. Um, yes, and I think it needs. Um, yes, yes, a little bit of that, and a little bit of the gold amber, and I think it needs. Um, let's put a little burnt umber. Yeah, Mama had her had her belt with that shoulder. I tell you. Okay, come on. Where are you? There. Oh, this is not. This needs some water in it. The nice thing, because these are water activated inks, uh, liquid acrylic inks, I can water and reactivate. Those are. out my all right first things first two things okay. make sure that the pigment is off the bottom and I'm gonna have to get my pipette This is why I'm trying to use these up because the bottles are getting old, not the paint, not the, or the ink, it's the bottles. And I know this, but I'm not going to buy any bottles for these. So, but I do love these inks anyway. Um, let's see how it is. Nice. Okay. Still got some. There we go. Come on. Okay, we're going to let this sit for a minute while it's reactivating, but I do want to see now. Yes, okay. I'm going to mix a little bit of that that and that to make a rusty color that I want. Okay. So that gives you a little, little, little bit about mixing colors. So this one, this one's good. And this is, this is like the yellow ochre color. Very pretty. Very pretty. And I'm going to put a little bit of water in this one too. Just to make sure we got some some something going on down in there. Make sure all of these are good to go. That one is good to go. This one is the red oxide. It, oh, I didn't grab a jar of water. Another one of my. Um, see what you're talking about. Oh. So will these be for your sale, Shauna? They might. They might. Um, I need to get water. 
keep going to reach for it and it's not there. Shauna, like, hello. Who are you? I don't know who you are, so I'm not supposed to do it unless I'm busy. Okay, now I've got water. <laughs> it's like I kept going to, um, you know, I'm like, it's not there. Okay, oh, that one, yes, that one is very rich. Another, um, yes. Actually, I'm, we're going to use this one first. Yeah, I'm use that one first. That one's very beautiful. All right. I like this one and this one are my favorite, but I like yellow ochre and and and, and, and Naples yellow and a lot of different other brands. Okay, this doesn't have Naples yellow, but I could add some white to the yellow ochre and make a full yellow. But we're not going to do that. But let's do the yellow. This bright rich. Like, yeah, that's that's where I want to go first. So we're gonna do that. So that's this one, warm umber, and um, let's mix. Well, no, I don't want to mix it yet until I'm ready to use it. So let's just. Um, and I'm gonna use a product called Glazing Medium. Um, this does two things for me. Um, hi, April. Welcome in. I plan on doing a clean out after next week during spring break. I have a lot of stuff that needs to go. Let me know, Shire. I'll be there. I'm sure there are several paints that need to be thrown out. I'm sure too, Debbie. But although you've been doing a lot of work, I love what you've been doing. Um, we think she's done just three puppies. I'll take pictures later. She's still bonding and I don't want to fear. Of course, of course. Uh, just this week, I have thrown out a few dried out <gasps> pit pins. Oh, that, that hurts. That hurts. Purge jelly print papers. You threw out jelly paint papers? You ought to be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> anyway, back to what I was saying. Okay. So these inks, the, in, the, the acrylic inks that I've come across and that I'm aware of, um, and I love acrylic inks. They're very translucent, and they were, and 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 even though this is an acrylic, it's what it's. Um, I can work with it like I do watercolor. I know. I see that. As I said, I, I love what you've been doing. But but why did you throw out paper? That's what I don't understand. Oh, okay. All right. Anyway, so these are already very translucent, which I love, and they work. But you can you can work with them with water, like watercolors. Um, but once they're dry, they're permanent. They're not going anywhere because it's an acrylic ink. This since this are, this has a lovely transparency already because it works like watercolor. I'm also using this glazing medium. Now this is going to do two things. One, this is going to make this paint even more translucent, more light, which is what I kind of want. And it'll help me carry the ink across the mat because if you put ink or watercolor in your jelly plate without a catalyst, it beads up. So this works twofold in this process, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is put down some glazing medium. Make sure I don't cut anything any food booger stuff wonderful um brayer brayer is a, a, a must have really and this had that brown so if we get some of that off into i don't care it's gonna be fabulous fabulous crusty bit but and i'm thinking the any of the liquids is going to reactivate some of this but we'll see okay 
I, no promises. Oh, yep, I see a transferring some already. Some of that lovely vintage stuff. Yes, that I have more of. Oh, that's beautiful. That is really beautiful. But now we're gonna we're gonna add this to it. A little bits, two little drops. This stuff carries a long way, especially I want it to be like barely there. See how like a beautiful, even light coat. Okay, do that. Now, I'm not gonna be, you know what? Let's, no, let's do it this way. We'll do that one there. We'll do this one here. And we'll do, um, let's do, let's do this one here. Let's do this one here, moving the paint out of the way. And we'll do this one like this. We'll do it like that. Okay. And I'm going to take another piece of, of uh, jelly paper, my favorite one, just for a cleanup, just for a pickup. We've got a nice, good burnish. Nice, good burnish. Looks like the old solar thing teeth that turn color as it ages. Yes. Bye, Sophie. She's probably already gone. Love you. <laughs> okay. You really give this a good, good burnish. Well, that's a little messy because it still has that stuff on there, but that's okay. I don't care. This is not the paper we're worried about right now. It's not the paper. Okay. Pull that up. Lovely collage fodder. Or we can add to it later. Okay. Now I'm going to get. Let's get. Yeah, let's. Oh, no. Let's, let's use the Bora Bora. Now, I'm going to put another little tiny drop on here just for so it can help carry the paint. Remember, it's a catalyst. Um, where's the, what did I do with the, this one still works, I think. Yes, it does. Again, just a little bit. It's a little bit. A little bit more than that. <laughs> Whoa, don't go crazy. So, yeah, if you ever have a medium like inks and uh, like ink and blocks or like those, you know, uh, crayons and any of those water soluble things, and you want to put them on the jelly plate, you can. I just want to get enough on there. Okay. Um, I'm going to bring that one paper back just because, well, you know, I can. This paper, I have to be careful. Oh, I did rip it. It's okay. Um, yeah, paper. Where's our good paper? Where's our made paper? Okay, let's do it on this one first. This is the the generic everyday um, wax paper. Um, hmm. Uh, let's see. Yeah, blue. Okay. 
Hmm, I think I wanted to leave more blue on there. Like more, yeah, I think I should have put more blue on there. Should have been a little more liberal with it, but it's pretty. Um, yeah, and yeah, okay. I'm not gonna clean this, by the way. <laughs> We're just gonna go for it again. Where's my, is this the one? No, I'm not using this one to warm yellow, for the warm umber. And I think I want more blue on there. than these little ones because okay that one's not important at the moment yeah put a little bit more <laughs> than you think I know what I did wrong too. Okay. Let's see what we get. Let's put this up. Put this up. And this up. And um, yeah. Let's do this one. Ready? Oh, and look, we're probably going to get some crusty bits off these edges. That's always fun. Oh, uh, acrylic inks and uh, glazing medium. But you don't have to do that. If you have uh, like the liquid acrylic paint, um, you know, that's translucent or those, uh, what are those, color shift paints, um, you can use those. Those would be fun to use. Um, you can even just use regular colors and use the glazing medium because this will this this uh, causes the paint to be more translucent. Let me see. Oh, I like that. Look at that imagine that in a journal folded all right now we're gonna do a different color but first we need to pick that up i need a cleanup sheet this one will do gigs hi honey I don't know. I don't have any, but the glazed medium and regular thick acrylics. Yeah, you can use that. You can use that glazing medium. You can use the glazing medium to thin down any acrylic product, or even watercolors. Cause yeah, ooh, this is just a cleanup print, but it's becoming fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let that over there to dry. I'm gonna leave that. We're gonna. I'm gonna dry it. Uh, 
without making a mess. Okay, let's look at the colors. And did I, oh, I didn't need this plug. What's, why did I? Okay. This one too. This one goes to, oh, that's the iron. Hold on. Ugh. I can't wait until I resolve this issue too. Oof. There we go. I gotta. I want to dry the plate. I want to keep all those bits on there. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, that's that's a big project there. Guys, for sure. Hello, hello. I see we got some more faces up in the club. There's a be shy. Come down, say hi. Love to have you join us. Maybe you'd like to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the like, the thumbs up, ladies. It's greatly appreciated and it's free. It costs you zero pennies. Easier to add to than take away. So <laughs> you got to be patient when you're making a color. Where that gets us. Probably put in too much yellow, but that's okay. We're going to get there. Now I think it just needs some orange. It's getting better. Still not, I think I, I definitely put too much yellow on it. Oh, yes, that's pretty. Yeah. 
it's a cat quilt. It has 16 more squares to go. Oh, wow. I don't know what kind of quilt that is, but oh, look, I painted myself. What? Whatever that color is, is what we're going to use. Yes. Very rusty. Sounds good. Okay. So. Come on. similar to the other one I was using. We'll go we'll go to red too. Because I want to use that red oxide. That'll be fun to play with. And the yellow oxide. All right. Different stencils. Let's see. Let's use oh I like this one. Let's use this one. I'll just put that one there. It'll just it'll be right there. Um cool. let's use Let's use this one. And what else I got in here? One of my mask ones is the one I'm looking. Here we go. Let's use that. Um, yeah. Okay. And then we need a cleanup sheet. Gotta start a new one. Um, covers, waves, lap, and down to knees in most cases. Ah, ah, okay, I get it. Lap quilt. Okay, makes sense. Now, what color do we want to put with this orangey, yellowy mix that I made? It's supposed to be more rust. I, I need to add more orange to it. Still too yellow, I think. Yeah, it's fine. But whatever. Okay. Pretty, pretty. I think I'll keep that one the way it is. All right. Um, let's see. We have the orange. Hmm. Let's see. What colors do I, what color do I want to mess with? Um, maybe a dark. Let's use not black. Let's, ooh, purple. We could go. Go purple. Got I don't know some stuff on the outside. I must have made it messy when I used it last. Um. Oh, you know what? No, I want my Payne's gray. Forget that. Get the right stuff here. Payne's gray. Let's use that one. That one's a, a really dark, dark blue. If you're not familiar with Payne's gray, uh, or neutral trends, uh, I I I'd much grab for those. Um, over uh, black any day, every day. Um, that's just the way I roll. So I think this is going to really pop. Oh, thank God there's mods here. Y'all got that? Wow, I haven't had one in forever. Woo, woo, woo. Let's see what we got. Ooh, that looks lovely. Now we're cooking with gas. And my other paper. This one. Now this is the matte medical tissue paper, courtesy of Joycey here in chat. I should have no clue. <laughs> You're going to ask questions. Chrissy Poo. Hello, Miss Sharp. Happy Saturday to you. Let's see. Can I get this on there? Well, it's on there now. Okay. I know. I know one of my girls would get it. 
No one is listening now is Gila and Pookie. Where are they? It's a Saturday, you know? Oh, look at that. See? <gasps> yes. I want it. Look at that. Look at that. And then you can see the paper. Ah, oh, yes. That, that is a good print. That is a good print for collage. Okay. Now we're out of collage papers. We gotta collage some more. <laughs> so let me collage another one. Let me just pick you up, put you in there, and flip. Because you know, so it's 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 if you take a master board process and a jelly printing process and you combine them, and it has a name and it's called. Something Ch Chanel, no, cool, cool, not like cool, C O L. It's like C U L L something or another. So you learned, and then you learned about transparent medium. So you learned a couple things today. Um, where is my collage here? Right, and I'm just gonna right here and Let's go back to um, the paper and yeah, look, I like, and I, but, but see now here, I like that it's, look at how like, you still get that transparency, you can still see my hand. And I want to test, um, next time I'm going to prepare some ahead of time, well, at least a couple, I want to prepare, um, the daddy bands under and over see so all right so collage book pages are not Ooh, let's see let's do this one Just more of my masks oh and i want to use a doily a real doily just because I can. Okay. Um, I'm not looking to see. Where did I put those? Oh, here, here, here. There's the other one. And I got this one. Now, where is, um, okay. What am I missing? Oh, the other book here. This one. Let's do another one. I'm going to do one with the red. Um, and um, a white, maybe. Um, let's see, this one wants to come out. Let's just do the piece of this one. And another thing about this, this is not like letters. This is not a book of letters. This is a book from like a lodge or something like that. And so an 80-year-old composition notebook from a Recording Secretary's Minute Book. I'm going to do that. Let's get these out of the way for a second. Those over there. I want to get them all yucky. Um, okay. Put it all together now. Okay, let's do this one here. And so I'm going to my jelly book for a second. Right there. You guys want to see what Odin does? Anytime I make up the table that I'm doing stuff and I cover with like a blanket or a sheet or something, you know, and I'm preparing for a sale, right? And, and this is what he does. So this is my boy. He gets right up in the middle of it and lays on it and makes like a little, you know, like a little bed for himself under the header. And the reason why I put the sheet is to protect the stuff under there because he had his claws all in it. <laughs> but that is your guy's cat today. I would rather use a different hoop. Yeah. 
a toy bakery to shoe smaller paper, but nice for little closets. Nice. A new bed for me to ride. <laughs> that is our cat. Ugh. That boy needs some help. <laughs> he does. He needs some help. Let's collage a few sheets since we're back to the collage phase. Um, let's quickly get get some collage going here. And I'm going to be, oh, not this. Ooh, wrong, wrong squeeze bottle. <laughs> and I'm not going to be precious. I'm just going to be like, you know, like I was earlier. Couple few pieces. And Let's see what's on this. This is the appendix. Let's put some of that on there. Because why not? Hey, I dropped it. That's okay. I mean, this paper is like 200 years old. So it's like super thirsty. Even though it's rag paper. Um, and then some ledger. Let's see what's on this piece of paper. It's two, two straights. Let's see, I wanted to tear this with this. That I like. That I like. Unevenness. It's more appealing. Perfection is overrated. Straight is too stuffy. This paper is also like 100 years old. Uh, this ledger paper. Ooh, we get a nice, nice uh, spread of the pink. Oof. Oof. Okay. Put this on here and let this dry while we do a couple more. A couple more, people. A couple more. I need more paper though. And I'm um I'm gonna I want to use more of the medical tissue paper. That one wasn't too bad either. Where's where did I put the roll? Joyce Sweet Gates, where did I put your roll of paper? <laughs> where did I put the roll of paper? How does this even happen? Oh, here. Like, how does that even happen? Doesn't matter if it's crooked, straight or not. It's whatever. It's whatever, because I'm going to cut it down. Save your bits to do something fun with these later. Next day. Um, oh, and I know you guys won't believe me because I've been trying to do it for like a year now. I am bringing back um, daily creative journaling. Um, so if you followed along in my previous series, um, and I'm going to be doing it an hour every day. Whether I finish or not is not the point. The point is, is we're going to journal together and we're going to be creative and write and all that stuff at the same time. Um, and I'm going to start that Monday. And I want you guys to help hold me to it. I mean, there might be some days I can't, but I'm, I, I, you know, I'm getting back. I got to get back to my art. And um, most everything I create is going it, to, has been usually mostly. Uh, I don't even know what I was going to say. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. 
but it's going to be live an hour every day. You can come along, join me. You can miss a day. There's no, there's no rules. There's no nothing. There's no, um, but we can create a hashtag if y'all want. Um, and if you're on Instagram, we can post. not liking this. I'm not finding my that'll do. That'll do. That'll do. I need to get a new Don uh, dish water bottle. I have one in the kitchen. I think we just emptied out a new one, so time to switch bottles. I mean, no one's cleanable, but, you know, why bother? Because let's put this upside, upside down, because why not, right? Some extra... Something, something. And we're going to do this again. I'm going to get some different stuff to collage with. And... Um, no, I'm always in a jelly pudding. Kind of just whatever. Whatever. Um, I'll do something fun with these. So if you make some and you want to tag me on Facebook, Instagram, whatever, just tag me. No special hashtag or anything. But if you make something based on uh, my inspiration, I would love to see your makes. Um, yeah share the share the artistry let me see um let me see marcy hi welcome in let me go up here see what y'all are see what i'm missing here i like that dubs i like that i'll i'll Yeah, somebody check if that's if that's um if that's available. Okay, that's been I don't I don't know I mean I love collaging so I'm kind of finding myself being slow at and then really this just needs to be faster paced. I mean I'm just going and really yeah. But anyway, what I was gonna say was is um I'm gonna get some of the I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna make some copies of some of the ads and stuff that I have, and we're gonna make some collage master boards, and we're gonna be we're gonna do some fun with those too. I got a lot planned. I I don't know. And asked to to join a, a design team, but I, I gave up all the design teams because I I can't commit. So I don't know if I'm gonna join it or not. I mean, it's not one that's gonna be very you know, it's not a journal one, um, but I don't know. Just don't know if I have the commitment time for that. I still have. So I I am getting to my art and my projects, and I, I just don't know if I have the time to dedicate to something else. But I mean, this isn't a normal design thing because it's not like, you know, it's not a digital designer that I'm going to be working for. Although I think she does maybe have digital. I don't know. 
that's too long. That's too long. I like the journal hour. That one was that one was uh, nice, but I take it that one's taken, and it doesn't surprise me that it is. Or maybe the journaling hour, something something simple, and not. I mean, you know, that that's a lot there. I want it to be easy for people to, you know. Now the the hour of the day may vary because I can't. I'm going to try for mornings and I'm going to try, uh, I'm going to shoot for like 10 a.m. is what I'm going to shoot for. Um, so if you, uh, want to, you know, watch out for my, like I said, um, but I may get up later because maybe I've had a bad night or something. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to, you know, commit to a same time every day, but I, I, I would want to commit to you guys an hour of Oh, and I've already started working on the collection of January, February, and now March uh, digitals uh, for the members. And there's going to be some, there's going to be digitals that are from this last uh, die batch runs that are not going to be sold and are only going to be available to you members and moderators. Yep. Bixie, hi love. The journal hour is is an Instagram username. Oh, darn. Um, okay. Need something fun, catchy, simple, not too many words. Yeah, so. Okay, back to this now. Hey, bud. Good morning. I don't know if you heard me. He didn't answer, so I'm assuming he didn't hear me. Like I said, these are just a few. You can, I want to do some more collages. Um, yeah. yeah. Different fun stuff. And then we'll, we'll yeah. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep, yep. Okay, uh, that's three more. We'll do these three more, and then we'll call it because I need a, I need a nap. Um, <laughs> the art journal hour. There we go. Okay, so uh, do I need to create that, or do y'all need to create? It doesn't matter who creates it, right? I mean, because anybody can enter the hashtag, um, so it doesn't really matter who creates it, right? But I like, or maybe the creative journal hour. Try that one. See if that one's available. The creative, because it is, it's creative art journaling, which is not just journaling and it's not just art. It's, uh, you'll see creative journaling is, it's kind of, I don't really know. I, I know, I know it's just, it's a, it's a mix of everything. Um, where are my other papers that I'm looking for that I just collaged for you guys? Okay. There might be several craft lashes today because I warned y'all my studio is a hot mess, like literally a hot mess right now. I'm trying to create in the middle of chaos because uh, I'm de-stashing, getting ready for de-stashing and, and, and it, you know, moving things around and getting it uh, even more organized. Don't even want to know the kind of mess I'm in right now. <laughs> yeah, right. So, uh, I'm no. You don't want to. You don't want to necessarily make it a full collage. The premise for this is to make it a partial collage, or I mean, you can make it a full collage. But the point is, is to leave some of the paper to show through, right? Um, like, look, look at, uh, 
and, and look at how translucent it is. See how you can see the paper, and then you know you look at it, and then you've got these, this beautiful paper under there. For the creative journal hour. Okay, I like that. Yeah, the creative journal hour. Okay, so with, so I got to do my first one, and I'm going to post under that the creative journal hour. I can do that, and then um, you guys can either. So, I mean, because it's all going to be live, but it's going to be, you know, once that hour, and I'm going to keep my timer on, once that hour hits, whether I'm I'm done or not, I can give myself a couple, few minutes leeway, but, you know, I want it to be, I want it to be spending time, because I, I, I'm tired of talking to myself, number one, okay? Uh, um, I, and I'm so I'm tired of talking to myself. Pretty tight, you can't have none of this. This is all... Oh, 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 okay. Wait a minute. There you, there you, okay. Anything wet over here? I don't want you to get anything on your paws and, and stuff. He's innovating. Come on, lay down, lay down, lay down. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, yes. Nope, can't get that. No, no, no. Say hi to the girls. Say hi, Dabs. Hi, girls. Chris, Pixie, everybody in chat. <laughs> you gonna show them you show you want to show them how your summer your summer colors are starting to come out look look at and look at this belly oh my god look at all the orange is starting to really come in now yes yes oh my god yes. okay have i given you enough enough love now can i can i get back to what i was doing no 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 you can't have that that's mommy's no you, you, you can't can't have that. No, don't, don't. No. Okay, we're gonna sit here. We want, we want cuddles. Yes. Oh, we want the cuddles. Oh. Kitty love, best kitty. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Come on. Thank you. Goodbye. Kid. This is why I can't get no work done. The kid interrupts me. He's worse than a, a real kid. I'm just saying, y'all, okay? Okay, dry. He does. Oh, gosh. You're just seeing me not straight here. You don't need to see me in my PJ. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm not, you know. Flashing everything. None. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, that boy. He's a hot mess. But he is definitely worse than than my than, than a child at, on days on some days. <laughs> So this is the mini you go and I'm just trying to just go and get yourself refill your drink, you know, go to the, to the ladies room or the boys room, depending on who you are. Um, you go over there so I don't spill you. You don't need no, no messes. Um, yeah. That in there. Okay, what did I just do with the third one? Oh, there it is. I love these vintage papers for this process. Oh yeah, that's right. I mean, it's, it's like um, 
Bo, Chen, Chen Kole. It's an old, old process. Here, this is how this is what, how, it's, how it's spelled. And I was inspired by this girl. Um, long time ago. Um, but this is what it's spelled, and you guys can look it up. Um, and I've done it many, 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 many times. Um, maybe not so much on camera. I know I've done some, but this is what it's. It's an old process with a plate. Um, yeah. This is what it's called. And then there's a video, um, and you can see what she did. Um, this has been in my... Uh, watch later forever. I think this is one of the first videos, um, first jelly plating videos I saw. Um, it doesn't say it's it's through Jelly Arts. They showed it, so I picked it up, and I use it with my crusty bits a lot of times. Um, okay, so let's. This is dry no. I don't know how to pronounce that. I want to say Chin Kole, but I don't know. But that was the title of the Jelly Art Fo Chin Kole. Cool, 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 cool. C O L. I don't know how to pronounce that. It's French. <laughs> it's I, not French, in the least. We need Louise with hooked on bonnet. She's French. We're going to use on one of them next. It's doily. And we'll end up coloring the doily too along the way. That's the one that's paper. So we're doing double duty. I wish this had, had more. I mean, I could put more holes in it to so some sort of, you know, cutting design, but I'm not going <laughs> to. Just that guy. Don't got time for all that. Okay. And now I want to do one thing to it, and I think I'll do it to this one, since it's here. There's my... Where's my stuff? This is, this is, oh, this is not my used one. This is my new one. I don't want that one. Don't want that one. Get the old one. Yes, but it's where you use um, papers, collage, you know, in, collage in the background underneath um so this one i'm gonna do something fun with this one but let me let me activate invisibility yes um yeah, right now we're activating this wait which paper is this oh this is the right paper okay <laughs> This is my. This is that 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 uh, quick wrap that I love. That's in the black and white box, the Dixie. This stuff is amazing. You're gonna see why in just a minute. It's gonna, I'm activating the invisibility. <laughs> You're gonna see. It's gonna start. You're gonna start seeing. Watch my watch my mat. Watch the paper over the mat. If you're not familiar with this, or if you're not seeing me do this. Another, here's another tip trick for you. And this doesn't work on all deli paper. Um, it, I know it works on this one. 
Um, it does work some on other deli papers, um, but it may not work as much as, as, as you wish. Um, it has an accent mark after the E. Yeah, that doesn't help. I need hooked on phonics. Okay. You guys see it already happening? You can already see more of the uh, mat through. And the mat is dirty. It's got all kinds of colors and junk on it, right? So, okay. And I'm just doing the part uh, that's not, you know, covered, obviously. Um, I'm back here. Hello? Can't seem to hold on to paper. Just can't seem to do it. Okay. Now, the same thing on the other side. So is it sticking up purple? Oh no. It's just coming through so so well that it's visibility status go. Accent uh, gives an A, A sound, cole, but cut the sound before elongating. Cole, cold. I don't know. I don't know. Doesn't matter. It's not necessary for your art process to know how to pronounce that. <laughs> it's a good idea to learn how to pronounce it. I just don't know it at the moment. Um, I like it. Yeah. But I've watched the video a few times. Well, I watched it the first time, like, I don't know, six years ago, seven years ago. I don't know. Not long after she, Jelly Arts put it out, let's put it that way. And um, like I said, it's been in my saved uh, forever. And I woke up this morning and I was laying there. And then all of a sudden, my mind went there. I'm like, oh, wow, I got to show the girls that forgot about this and well so here we are if i ripped it that's okay but now you see how well you can see my hand through the paper translucent translucent ability go that is awesome And you don't even have to press hard. It's just, it's just um, getting the the furniture polish into the paper. Um, yeah. This paper likes that. Chen Coley, Coley. That makes okay. That makes sense. Chen Coley. Okay. Chen Coley. That's it. See. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Okay. So. This is your friend to make your paper invisible. Daddy Bands, all natural, unscented beeswax, furniture polish. And there, out of the way, um, this uh, needs to go in the bag. Where is it? Hello. Bag. No bag? Bag on the floor? No, no bag. Bag is not on the floor. Yeah. Not this one. Give me another one that I don't really care about. This one. This one will do. Ah, okay. Uh, I I would think so. So the way you said it first was correct. Chin Chin Kali, yeah. <laughs> Chin Kali, Chin Kali. Shauna, I miss what product you're using to make the paper translucent. It is Daddy Ben's all natural, unscented beeswax furniture polish. And it comes in a little can. You can get it, uh, I think, on Amazon. Um, and it's just, and then you get yourself a little one of these brushes like this. You know, some are pointed. I have, I have this one too. 
that for? Looks like that brush. These are, um, so it's got something, something in it. I don't know. I used it for something. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, just get yourself a, 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 a bristle brush um, that's uh, stiff but soft. Um, but look in the shoe polish section, and they may they may offer a brush that comes with uh, their their wax. Um, I don't know. Anyway, um, but yeah. So now you can't even you can barely even see the papers there, right? I mean, look at look at everything. It looks like it's the back. Um, collage and tissue, the stamping text or postal marks over the image. Yes, yes. Ooh, 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 ooh. Thank you, Debbie. You reminded me. Let me um, grab one because I don't care. I have to take, it's one of the packs. Yeah, this is one of the packs. Uh, when I was, uh, this is the extras from making your guys' packs, and I have some of that. Okay, so we want to do what? We want to do stamp images. Let's see here. Let me let me go over here. She said stamps, right? Um, over the image would be cool. So what are you saying? Put this. Um, you're saying collage these on top of here? Same here, Debbie. Yeah, for sure. China. That makes sense. Um, so yeah, let's let's I didn't I didn't, I didn't uh, pack these, so let's find some interesting uh, postmarks. Um, oh that one's pretty. This is from that uh, international stamp book. I, I want some, I, the, the another thing where I am using neutrals is first of all, that's also gonna uh, balance out uh, with the paint. Um, number two, these are all papers that I can, uh, I can copy. So when I make this, I can copy because I won't be using anything that's non, um, That's not out of copyright. I want to make sure I use everything that's in copyright. Ooh, that's pretty. Where's those papers? Now I get to sit down. Okay, let's put this over here. Let's put a, let's get a couple more different ones. No stamp over with a stamp. Oh, a post stamp. Oh, I have that. Ha! Ha! I have that, but I still want to put this. I'm still going to put this on there. <laughs> Just because I can't, I have those. We'll we can do those too. Let's put this back over. Where did I put them? here? Over here, back in its bag. Okay, put that. Just because I like it anyway, and I have them, so why not use them? Okay, now my stamp stamps. Did I put them in here, or did I leave them in the package? Hold on. Uh, 
stamp that look I have these little ones that look like stamps not pretty okay so we can use some of these and some of these and some of these and we'll stamp on all of these these three that we made how about that move you over there because I don't want you to get messed up I mean we need the room and I need my favor I'm using black. I also have a timber brown that I like too, but I think I'm going to stick with black um, so it can pop through the colors that we put on this. Um, let me just do this really quick. I want this on there just because. And I have to put it because there's that that's wax, it's not going to stick, right? So I have to make sure I put it on everywhere it's going to stick, which I'm fine with that. Let me put it right there just because I can. Okay. All right. That for a second, that away over there. Um, quick dry. Paper's got to dry it dry anyway, so because I put that wax on there. But even when you dry it, wherever it's so thin, it's going to be very, very translucent, my friend. Yeah, I wasn't sure if you meant spam stamps or spam stamps. Or just stamps. <laughs> okay, done. Now I'm just gonna I'm gonna really just burnish that that wax into the paper. I really, I really want it to, to dry. Okay. And it doesn't take the wax takes seconds. And once it's dry, like it won't feel waxy. This stuff anyway, I don't know about other waxes, but I know this stuff does not feel waxy. Just want to make sure it's dry to allow the stamping to happen. Okay. This one parcel post Darlington paid. Uh, use that one somewhere. And then here's the I have the cancellation I took out on this one. So we'll use that. I think that'll be good. Yeah, this is not cut. I didn't have this is more like background stamp, so um, Use this one, and we can use this one. Okay. Oh, this one is postal. Oh yes. See. Oh, what is that? A couple different ones that have stamps on them. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me, my, my frog throat. I didn't want you guys to have this. Sore throat today. Oh, you know what? I don't trust you. Yeah, I don't trust you. Get into mama's stuff. Thank you, stickers. Um, okay, so first. Kind of on the paper, off the paper, or what do we want? I'm thinking that one needs to go somewhere. I'm going to put that one there. I think. Uh, 
Shinkole. Thank you, hubby. Not my hubby. Somebody else's hubby. Anyway, it's a process. And I've, I've done it lo I guess, lots and lots of times throughout my jelly printing. Let's see. Let's turn it the right way so it's going to go through the. Dusties on it. Now this one stamp that hasn't been used yet. So oh, I need one of these. One, two, three, four, but we need something else with. Oh, that's right. I took this off the bear. Um, let's do another one of these since we didn't get one of those on there very well. We need one more spot. Um, yeah, Shingole. That's how you're supposed to pronounce that, according to um, the husband. Thank you, husband. Actually, I'm not going to put the stamp. I want to put the vintage. And, and husband, you know which one you are that I'm talking to. Not mine. <laughs> Do that, and I am going to get this little girl over here and put her right side this way. Just put it this way. There we go. Now I'm happy. Okay, this one, this one, this one over here. Oh, where's my box? Okay. All right. Now there's that one, um, and it has clarity or a clear paper. No. Too much glue. Should have put it back in the bottle, but my hands are like cruddy from the stamping and the paint and the whatchamahoosit. Okay, let's stamp this one. We'll have one with clear paper. And, um, thank you. Yes, thank you. Oh. Okay, back to what I was doing. Let's, uh, okay, and where did, like, where did I just put those? All right, let's, oh, I don't want to use these. I want, don't want a dirty stamp. So I've got to put back in the package. I don't know where it's the package. Oh, it's over here. That's fine. Um, yeah. Ah. I want to bring in maybe some of this. Because why not? Which part do I want? Okay. 
give it some hound tooth, shall we? I might have thought too much, quite possibly. This is where you guys are. are you know what? This stamp, I don't think it's even ever been used. The stamp set has never been used, you guys. I this one. Um, I don't, where's my long, where's my long block in here? Yeah, see what it is. My signature stamp, can't lose that one. You know what? I don't, I don't, I've changed my mind. I don't want the book. I want it to be. Random, like. Yes. Um, but it needs support because it's not never been used, so it's not picking up ink well. Hold on, hold on. I gotta, I gotta give it some. I gotta give it some love. There, now it's got ink on it. Sticking because it's a brand new stamp and I haven't um oh this is a good one. I haven't um what do you call it sanded it yet. Okay. I like that. There we go. That's good. We're going with that. Hound tooth is very subtle. Could have went darker, but I didn't want to. Dots too, and, and I, I already have a harlequin, but this is a different harlequin than I have. Okay, cool. the two stamping one's out, and you guys can help pick colors. Oh, can't lose my signature. I need to put that in the bag so it don't get hard too. Um, her mind is, my mind is frogged. <laughs> Shauna is frogged. If you, if you use it, must check that autocorrect doesn't mess with you. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. <laughs> okay, we're done. We got to start to dry. Dry. Okay, because we got one uh, translucent paper, very, very invisible paper uh, with collage and stamping. Then we got one on the medical tissue. Um, this is the deli paper. What do I got? What is it getting? It's getting red from something. What? what is, oh, it must have been on my hands. Well, it's got red streaks on it too. <laughs> and this is the deli paper, invisible with stamping. And then this is uh, more of the matte medical tissue paper, no stamping. So, or no, yes. So we're gonna go for it now. <laughs> This back. Okay. Oh, that's too high. Oh, okay. all right. What's the oh, where's no doily? Let's get those out of my system. Oh, no, I need to pick that up. Uh, needs to pick that up, and you don't belong in this, this bundle. There, let's see what we get with these. I don't know, I just grabbed a handful of stencils. I just did. Um,
Oh, internet bleeped. I'm I'm back. It looks like. Let me know if y'all can't uh, refresh, you guys, because I just saw my internet blink. So I don't know if you guys lost connection to me, but you can't see me. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of this. Okay, and this, and not a cat hair. Uh oh, we might have a, oh, there we go. I was like, we're gonna have a cat hair up in our business. I'm just saying. Transparent. What else did I grab here? Color shall we do with this? This red iron oxide. Mm -hmm. What color shall we do? Uh, paint gray, neutral uh, or neutral tint. Um, mm -hmm. What color? One's just darker than the other. Light pinky bit there. Picked up some of the. See, we picked up some of the bits from the prior, the prior run. Mm -hmm. um, purple? Okay, we can do purple. Purple, I have a nice dark purple. That, we can do that. Where did he go? Here. Yeah. Nice dark violet. going to be nice and transparent because of the, uh, well, again, this product is naturally transparent and I'm adding a transparent medium, which is, um, it makes it even more transparent. Okay. Oh. okay. Um, which one do I want to use? No, I think this one. Here we go now. Here we go now. Here we go now. Here we go now. Um, phone text message of my photo and stamp idea. Let me see. Let me see. Let's see what Debbie did here. Debbie and I are, we love our collage. Uh, see, yeah, and that's what I'm going to get more into. I just wanted to show the minimal process. But yeah, that's, that's where I'm going. Uh, come on, focus, you freak. There's my Tay Tay, my little beautiful Tay Tay. Come on, focus. There we go. But yes, that's exactly where I'm heading. Uh, what? <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, but yeah, that's the, the, this. Uh, this was just the. But you want to leave some of the paper. 
um, visible, you know? So look at that. Oh, when it's over the over the paper, and then you got this these little bits of translucent, you know, super pretty, and the colors. The, oh, okay, more of that, more of that. Okay, go back to uh, let's 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 just pick this up. Let's see if we can get most of this up so I can do some can do some stuff with our doilies. Yeah, but yeah, Debbie, that's exactly, and I, I'm going to be um, using all kinds of just all kinds of the different uh, vintage papers I have and stuff. And look at that. Look at that bit right there. A little bit of green pulled up from our, our stuff there. Okay. So, let me my hands a little bit so I don't transfer not that I don't I, I usually don't care but um, I'm going to transfer too much yet those between papers okay now back to the red yeah well me and oh gosh Debbie, we've been we've been doing jelly plating stuff like this for Debbie taught Debbie was one of my inspirations. Um, among a couple others, but yeah, Debbie was definitely jelly plating before me. And like I said, she taught me a lot. Um, but it's been a it's been a, a lovely road. We've we've shared uh, papers that we've made. Yeah, look at that beautiful translucent red pink i love it okay uh not those stencils let's where did i put the um oh here they are we want these we want we want we want these okay so let's do that one there Stick, baby stick. Clean up prints. Grab some regular paper here because just be easier. Um the more playful reference would bring out your work. Oh, <laughs> bye, Chris. Have a great day, love. Happy Saturday. Enjoy your weekend. Talk to you guys in our chat. <laughs> oh, look at that pretty red and purpley mix there that's happening. Mm. Huh. Um, now. Let's use Payne's gray on this. I want to, where's this one? This, 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 ow, this. More something, something, something over here. Not all the way, but I want it to be like half the doily. All right. See what happens. See what happens, Captain.
let's do let's do the I, I want to do something else with that one I got oh my bracelet oh no okay I'll have to, I have to watch I'm going for a shower right after this so <laughs> my bracelet got in my or, my rusty orangey pink color not pink color orangey yellow color right now let's see what we got now are we ready yeah Not bad, not bad at all. And I know we didn't get definition because I had to put the ink there, but that's okay. That's okay. It's gonna be fun. It's it's, it's and it is a little dark. Um, that's okay. Not as dark as black. Um, let's see. should we use? Let's use. I know what we're gonna use on the last one. Hold that down there. I like I, I like them all so far. Uh, that thing's dry. This needs to go over here. This one. And it's already got orange on it. I must have got. Oh, wow. I really got. Where's. I really got this one all kind of messed up. I don't want to wipe off all the. all the wax please no hello okay it's in the paper so it won't come out but i don't want to risk wiping too much of it out. i need to wipe that off first of all that's here i don't want it to be the same on the hand. we're going to use tp up for the next dry and Over here, um, I love. Uh, wait, how can blue says? See, yeah, I love. Another reason why I love this deli paper, even without, um, or any of these paper using any of these papers, even without doing anything to the backside, you still get. Because we're collaging and this paper, these papers are so thin. I love the fact that you can see it on both sides. Okay, just want to show you guys that. Um, where do you see? Uh, where, do you, uh, where did I put my orange paper? Where did I put my All messed up, all kind of everywhere. We need some of this stuff. This is that that vintage, uh, that vintage vintage stuff that I have right over there. Um, my stencil, what stencil, what stencil, oh, yes. use that one, and we'll use maybe some writing. And then, um, Oh, 
Um, we're not going to put too much on that one. Okay, hold on. Ah, go back in there. Okay, so this is going to be most of the color. I'm looking at the paper and kind of how I want it to, to be. Let's do it. Let's do it like Oh, doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, well, that's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it just like that. And this, I think I'm going to have to lift. No, you know what? I'm not going to. Where's my brush? I'll just use my, my paintbrush. Huh? Um, it is a little thick, so I got to. I have a lot of water, but it's way thick. And that's going to thin it down some more. So let's see what happens if I like that color. Or do I need to add more color? Oh, definitely more color. We can get. I'm in the, in the last, the very last pull. I want to. I want to see if we can get up these. Uh, these uh, crusty bits. Oh. There we go. That's a little bit better, but it needs to move. It's so thick. <laughs> it's like a paste is what it is. But it's water. It's, it's water-based, so but it's a lovely vintage color. Normally, I don't know about this process. I've never jelly played with it, I don't think. Uh, I know I did some mono printing with it, but I don't think I've ever jelly played it with it. All right. Let's just go with this and see what we've got. Okay. Uh, stencils, not you. And you don't need to. You, you, you. Hold on, I gotta keep my stencils proper. Okay, you guys go over there. Okay, that's what you did. Okay, so let's do this one. I'm just gonna do it just like that. I'm gonna do this one just like this. And then we're gonna do that one. Ha! Huh, even better. I like it just like that. Perfect. Perfect. We'll pick up with this one sheet of paper. It's getting its use. Stay. your spot. I do need to do a stencil bath for sure. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, why did I do that? I messed it up already. <laughs> I messed it up already. Gotta start over. Oh, 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 that's fun. Look at that one. Uh-huh. I like it. I like it a lot. I like all these a lot. Okay, back to the drawing board. Some of them. Hey, bud. You doing okay? <laughs> yeah, you just tired. Yeah. I hear ya. That was not the artist, that was the product. I know it's a hot mess right now, but I have to get in there to get this moving. And I don't care about the mess. Okay. Deb, 
maybe you should come on and do the creative journaling hour with me, like live with me. But I know you work, so it's kind of hard. But that one, that was a fun. All right. Just a little bit. Uh, just taking off the extra. Okay. Ready again. Whoops. Come back here. Okay. Eh, whatever. Kind of moved. That's fine. That's is fine. It was me what? What did I do? Besides the fact that I pulled the stencils up too early. Um, oh, the noise. Okay. <laughs> um, I think I want to put blue with it because, well, I like blue. And blue and brown go really well together. Uh, nautical blue. It's a dark blue. It's a blue jean blue very, very vibrant and dark at the same time. Get out of there. Okay, so let's do some of that. Let's do some of this. And maybe we might get a little patina out of this. We'll see. We shall see. It's a rough shot. This isn't, you know, you're not needing dough. Now I can take off the stencils. Didn't get as much blue. These, these stencils are tight. They're small, so I don't know what we're gonna get. There is a lot of there is a lot of design on there. So, but here we go. Um, I will go back. You just say, <laughs> no, you can say whatever you want, honey. I'm just picking on you. It might be pretty. Yeah, I think so. We'll see. We'll see. No promises. But I'm liking what's happening, what we're seeing happening here. Like that. Is it ready? Not quite. Not quite ready. For it to pull up the extra bits and stuff, it, it needs to kind of dry. But I don't want to, I don't want to use the blow dryer. Wanted to pick it up naturally. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can pick up me anytime you want. Okay, let's see. Come on. Let's see. Oh, 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 I love it. Um, 
all that has anyway. It's not dry yet, but as this dries, it's going to become, oh, I love that. Okay, let's dry and see what we, what we, what we, uh, let's pick this up. Let's, let's dry and see what we made today, okay? Let's see. How much I can pick up. Figure since it's still wet, we might as well try. Okay. It's a mess, but collage, fine. Whatever. I love this one too. Okay, well, let's just, let's just, let's just get this stuff over here. This needs to go in there. This needs to be washed now. Oh my God, this thing is, this thing is a hot mess. drying off my plate. Try to leave the bits on there because those bits come up the next time you jelly plate, you will be happy and surprised. That's just the nasty one. Okay. Whew. Get this over there. Other side of the way. Um, picking on you for flat. <laughs> I'm concentrating. <laughs> but at least I'm paying attention. <laughs> I mean, to the fact that you're actually talking to me. <laughs> you know, it could be worse. <laughs> Hi, Sai. Hi, Sai. Oh my God, I got this orange everywhere. I'll clean up more. Look at some my desk. Oh my God. Anyway, anyway, don't look at my dirty huh, artsy hands. Okay. <laughs> Nose in there. Back at you, babe. Back at you. <laughs> oh, I love this one. Let's dry, let's dry this one so we can get. I want you guys to fully see what they're when they're dry. How lover, this would make a beautiful, uh, like, envelope, like, uh, oh, oh, and you put it over, let me see, I want to see, look, you do this, and I'm just going to grab one, doesn't matter, but you take this, this has got, I don't know, something on it, but anyway, disregard that green mark, but you put this over here, any of these papers, where's another one? These would make beautiful um, music paper envelopes. And then they would be lined with paper. And then in the spots, well, this one, you need to trans, you need to make it translucent, but still, a, and then you get that crackly. Anyway. Just, uh, you can put it over any paper, music paper, map paper, any, any paper. Um, and all that stuff shows through the layers. It's just it's awesome showed you guys several things now today. Let's see. Let's see how this one dries out. way to make some some papers um look at that i love it and then let's see let's get over something let's put it over something else let's put it over something that's not so brown 
see right through it. So imagine, you know, I put the music paper away already, but see how it's and then you can see through. And then that stamping, you've got more papers cutting in. So imagine collage note that over something. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so we got that one. No, that's craft paper. So we got this one. This is these are just basic robots. This one I like. I'm gonna keep it as it is. It's the pickup from those stencils. And you can see all the fun stuff in there. That one. And then we did this one. Another one of my favorites. So even if you don't use these whole, you I mean you you tear them down and um you know, you get the collage fodder right away. That one. And then you got this one. Subtle and light. A little bit of teal in there. This one, we use teal, but because of the yellow, we got uh, teal and, and green. Um, yellow in there. I love this little bit right here. This. Okay. And then... The stent, that stencil because it's one of my favorites. Just yeah, that one. There's another one where I just kept it the basic pickup. Hi Sherry, you like the yellow? Yeah, that's that's this. That's this. Uh, well, there's yellow oxide you can use, but my favorite is this warm umber. It's like it's like a Daniel Smith's quinacridone gold um or like uh if you guys have the the, the liquid paints like the quinacridone try quinacridone gold and that quinacridone the the i think it's it's something like red iron oxide or something like that those two would be really good but any translucent paints will work or inks there's another one that was just messy pickup but you know good for collage and okay and then we had the purple one with the red iron oxide. Looks very regal. Lickable, yeah, for sure, for sure. And then, so we got a good maybe dozen papers out of it with all the, oh, come on, no, don't stick, no, don't stick, don't stick, don't stick, don't stick, okay. This is the red iron oxide, which is still a little bit wet. I even like this one. And I love how the vintage paint. Here, I'll show you that. I love how where I stamped it and then the doily over it, where it says vintage right there. I love that bit, that, 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 that corner bit right there. But then I also like, I just, yeah, just, just fun, just fun. This was, oh, this was just a pickup sheet. Same with these. These were all just a basic pickup. There was, oh, there. There's this one, just uh, red iron oxide picked up. Again, just easy, good for collage, which is what this is all about anyway. And is that one? Oh, one, two, oh, yeah, three, and then four, five, six. Okay, yeah, so that's what, that's what we did today. That's uh, for the for the who is it? For the, the the thumbnail. But I want to get these ones. These are the star of the show. All that fun stuff. You like the purple and gold one? Yeah, it's a bit, well, it's not gold. It's um, it's a red iron oxide and then with the paper. So, but yeah, it's pretty. It's very regal, um, this, this one. I get a regal vibe off of it. Yeah. 
So uh, d d um, I'm going to go uh, today, no, Monday. Uh, I'm going to do the first um, hashtag, my creative art journal, right? Isn't that what we said? My creative art journal hour, my creative journal hour, my creative journal hour, something, right? I don't know. Anyway, figure it out when we get there. And I'm going to do a hashtag and I'm going to do daily one hour live streams some point during the day, unless I'm absolutely sick, sick. Um, and we're going to come in and do some journaling. Um, creative journaling and uh, that you don't have to be perfect it doesn't have to be it has no rules there's no I'm not going to give you a schedule you don't even you can just watch um, but I encourage you to take part why am I picking this up Shauna um, I encourage you to take part um, you know even if you can't dedicate an hour maybe you dedicate five minutes or ten minutes or you know whatever floats your boat um, yeah, whatever that one oh, I don't need that one. There we go. That's, there we go. I like that. Okay. The Creative Journal Hour. Right. The Creative Journal Hour. Thank you, Debbie. Will be, I will put that on, I will use that on Facebook and Instagram, and I will post uh, to both uh, after the stream is done. Even if I don't finish, I'm going to post wherever we left off at. Um, and then, you know, we can always go back to that page and finish it the next time, right? Um, <laughs> but it resembles gold. Yes, yes. Right, exactly, Mama. Yes. And that's that's the red iron oxide. I love red iron oxide for undercolor. I don't paint with it, but to mix for a mixer and for an undercolor, like for jelly printing, this is this is good. Let's see. I think there's some pictures coming in. Let's see uh, what more Debbie did on hers. And thank you, Debbie, for playing along. Uh, oh, she did a lovely blue. And, oh, I love this. Oh, wait. So what did you do here? Oh, did you already take a a a um, Did you already do a background and that's what you collaged on? Or did you do like this where you collaged on paper and because it doesn't look like the paper has any color on it, which is okay. I mean, you could always take a background and collage. Um, but yeah, it looks super pretty with the background. The, let's see. So yeah, we're going to be doing a lot of kind of stuff like that. Um, um, jelly planning. I'm going to do, I don't know how often, but yeah we're gonna do regular regular videos um cream paint through stencil then magicals over ah yes ah that makes sense yeah i i, I yeah but well yeah, we gotta and you should if you're available you should come on live with me with just a little snack <laughs> you be nice to my mama <laughs> um yeah And I see, oh, wait. I get really close. But is that, um, is that tissue paper or, or deli paper or whatever that you used? So you collaged on the deli paper and did your stamping and everything, and then you tore it out, and then you placed it uh, on the background, and then you put the paste, right? And then you put the magicals or you did the magicals. Well, you must have done it after. Which, 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 which medical tissue? Oh, okay. Yeah. Like we use. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cause I see the outline where you tore here. So that must be where the medical tissue paper is. Oh, bye, Mama. I know. Shower and a nap for me, too. I love you. I'll talk to you later. Um, uh, yeah. I, I want this. I This is my Tay Tay. I want, I want this pa this paper. This, this, this. I want this. Or I want one like it. I, I That's my Tay. 
I missed, I miss, I miss seeing you and her and alive. Just saying. Let's see what else we got. Who else? Does anybody else have pictures? I love, I, I do like that. But yeah, that's the kind of collaging I want to do. Um, yeah. The creative journal hour, right? Yep, 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 yep. Anyway, okay. So this is this is what we did today. I hope you guys had a good time and maybe are inspired. Oh, it's on a wooden canvas. Awesome. Collage on tissue, right? Stamp it and wax. Paint canvas and then magicals adding tissue for now. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. I know she does. I know she does gigs. And <laughs> you, <laughs> you guys, <laughs> I just, you know, <laughs> we got to pick on each other and mama at the same time because we love her. You're welcome. Anyway, so uh, I'm glad you guys were here and I hope maybe you're inspired to play, even if not this way. Maybe you'll do something else and you share with me and, and tag, tag. Um, I hope you guys uh, had a good time and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Um, yeah. Stay happy, healthy, and most of all, creative, my friends. And I will see you guys next time. Look forward to Monday to start. And I will see you guys later. Lots of love and hugs. Stay, stay healthy, my friends. Have a great weekend. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.